What are some of the most important questions that we can ask ourselves in our lifetime? I think one is, what defines who I am? Or how do people define me? Or if someone was to say to you, pick five words, five adjectives that define who you are as a person, what would those five words be? Or is it, instead of a word, are we defined by our actions? Or are we defined by our worst moments or our best moments? What defines who we are? Oftentimes, we define ourselves by our worst act, or the worst thing we've ever done. And when we fall into that, I think of the Apostle Judas. And there's a great story of the painting of the Last Supper done by Leonardo da Vinci. And it actually took da Vinci 11 years to finish his painting. And he would sit in Milan in the streets and he would actually ask regular people that he would uh, pass by, hey, would you sit sit for this painting. I'd like to use your face for a painting that I'm working on. And the hardest face for Da Vinci to find was the face of Judas. And it was 11 years since he first started the painting and he had one face left to paint and that was the face of Judas. And he was looking for in the streets a face that spoke to him as a person of Judas, someone with a hard looking face or has gone through a lot of difficulties. And he finally found that man, asked him to sit in his studio. And the man hesitated a little bit, but decided to sit in. And when Da Vinci was painting Judas into the Last Supper, this man who was sitting for the painting became very restless and somewhat emotional. And Da Vinci stopped and asked him if he was okay. And this man looked at Da Vinci and said, don't you remember me? And this man said, I sat for you 11 years ago for this same painting. 11 years ago, you asked me to be the face of Jesus in this painting. And Da Vinci was blown away that the same person he asked to be Jesus, the same person that in that moment spoke to him as the face of Jesus, 11 years later was the face of Judas. And I think that is so symbolic of our lives, that there are times in our lives where we can be very much like Jesus and we're on the right path. There's times that we can be more like Judas, where we're falling away and falling into sin. What are times in your life where you've been more like Jesus? And what are times when maybe you've been more like Judas? And the truth is that we're all capable of greatness and we're all capable of acting harshly to others. Although our actions matter, they don't define who we are. We simply need to look to the cross to find out our definition. That the true definition of each and every person in God's eyes is love. And I think of a parent asking his or her child, you know, how much do you love me? And the child saying, you know, this much, or I love you this much. That when we look to the cross, we see Jesus' arms spread apart. And he's telling us, this is how much I love you, that you're worth dying for. That when we ask ourselves, how am I defined? God's love defines us.